can't plan that for anything. So, today, it's been a little bench time. Uh, my compatriot Matt is not here today. Uh, just thought I'd do a little work. My Sunday plans had changed radically, so I'm down here in the basement working on some models. So, uh, wanted to get working on this CH or ACH 47 Chinook helicopter. Uh, so we're gonna be doing that. So uh, we're gonna do a little dual cam for right now, so you can see me and what we're working on. I'm gonna do a little brush painting today. Gonna do a little airbrushing, so we'll go over to the booth a little bit and uh, hopefully a little bit of assembly. So. Uh, if you've watched my uh, basic tutorials on uh, using basic materials, today we're going to be doing some more advanced things. So uh, we'll actually be using paints, uh, probably some filler. I have different kinds. I have Tamiya basic type putty. I have my own uh, sprue goo, which is just a filler type medium using Tamiya extra thin. Uh, so that's one of the things we'll be using. But uh, and then uh, just to uh, go into what I've already done to kind of prep to get ready for the model. Uh, one of the things is I have gone through the instructions and label off what I'm going to be what paint I'm going to be using. Whether it says it says flat black, well, I don't like flat black. I like using a rubber black. It's more of a richer black, so I'll be using that. Um, this one says sand. I kind of like that one, uh, so I'll probably be using a combination of oh, probably wood deck Maha or uh, wood deck tan. Maybe use a little bit of flat earth to mix it into it. But those are just basically for seat belts. Um, they talk about uh, olive drab. Uh, we'll be using uh, XF62 uh, Olive Drab. Uh, these are my Tamiya paints, I like that. Uh, I am going to give, uh, I've had this for around for a while, this is Model Masters, they don't make it, any, they don't make it anymore, but it is a dark gold gray. It's supposed to be all on the inside. Uh, if we don't like that kind of color, I can always change it and go to a different, different shade. Uh, this one matches up pretty good. This, it says light blue, but it's actually more of a, more of a uh, gray color so we might do that or if we might go just a little bit darker and go with a little bit of uh, neutral gray so that's just a little bit darker but we're gonna be inside the airplane for the or inside the helicopter so we might give that a try so uh, that's what we're gonna be working on with there uh, some basic assembly uh, we're gonna do some painting on the inside first uh, cutting out some cutting out some parts off our sprue here and uh, start getting some assembly taken care of uh, first thing we will be doing is painting on the inside, so I'll be painting that in the booth. Uh, we're going to be painting the inside here, all, a, all the uh, dark gold gray color here and here. And then on the inside here, this is the uh, flight deck and loading deck, which will also be a gray color. And then I have the bulkheads here that I'll be painting. Uh, this is the interior one, and this is the one for on the inside, so I'll be painting these as well. So these will all get a gold gray color. Uh, I might have a prime, but we're gonna check to see if how, how deep our color is and if we have good coverage. So again, but this is also on the inside of the airplane, inside of the helicopter, so uh, we'll be dealing with that. So it's gonna be a little bit darker in there, so we don't have to worry about making sure it's all completely perfect on the inside. But uh, that's what we're gonna be working on there. So let's get these cut out, and let's just switch to the overhead cam. So there we have that. Again, using my orange handled scissors. Favorite ones of all time. Just gonna go up right against our part. And a snip. Snip. Now I have seen people where they where you even I used to do it where you twist them and what it does is it gives a kind of shreds the plastic a little bit and these are a lot easier to clean up so we'll get all these taken care of cut off here if you haven't seen my unboxing video of this make sure you check that out so you can see that so we got that piece and then cutting out the flight deck. Let's 
flight deck will need a little bit of sanding here on the sides. And we'll also do the loading one as well. The load the payload floor or the payload door. Take out, taking out those pieces, and there's not much left over in that one. So let's turn over here. There we go. You can see, pretty much took the majority of that out. And let's get our bulkheads. Here's where the bulk of our small pieces are at. So clip, clip. And we will doing a, we will be doing a little bit of sanding on this. And we'll talk about sanders here in just a second. So make sure we got all the ones that need to do that color for the compressor. I think they're just gun. I think they're where the guns are going to be. A little bit more of a trim. There we go. Now, let's see. You're going to do a little sanding here. Just slight sanding. These are my floor model sanders. Um, reason why I like Flory model sanders is that they are made for plastic and they're also self-cleaning as well so just a nice little rub and I can show you here later on another one what I mean by self-cleaning This is their foam variety. It's soft and squishy, so you can't push. You can push as hard as you need to be, and it'll still just take care of what you need to get done. Smooth. I was checking my finger, make sure that I feel that there's no no leftover pieces or anything like that. Looks like we are good there. And you don't have to push hard with these. These will just a slight bit of pressure, and these will do what they need to do. So that's why another reason why I like the sanders. So here we go, just a little bit more, a little trim. Another thing you can also use, I also, if you have one of these, it's just a scraper. Um, you just run it along it and it takes off what you need as well. So that's also another kind of like an advanced tool. This is from Citadel. So uh, we have that. So that's where our door is going to be going. We're going to be painting that here in just a little bit. So we're going to get that taken care of. Taken care of like that. And those will eventually mat up like that. Or meet up like that, sorry. Here. 
I got some injector pins that are located there, 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 and there, and all in there. Um, I think we'll just take a little sand on these top ones here. Just so slightly. watching live on YouTube uh, let's see you can message me you can chat bring up YouTube here there's a little bit of a uh, lag so if you post something and I don't get to you right away that's the reason why it ends up being almost from what I remember the other day it was almost a minute long so do with this use our Tamiya extra thin glue and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint right over those and it will melt those injector pins those spots right there this is not a section where there's gonna be glue touching it so we can just paint this on Tammy extra thin glue is a weld action glue, so it melts it. That's why I can do this. Don't try this as your basic other glues. Super glue does not do this. Only this weld action glue will do that. So there we go. We'll let that dry off. You can see where they were in there. I think we're good on those. We have to do those. There's where our texture's at. So we give that some time to dry here. Well, let's see. Let's see. A there, B. So we're going to go flat black on those. Flat black on those. That's going to be all that dull gray. Uh, over here. So this is all going to be gold gray except for these two little panels there which will be 